Welcome to So Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund. And I'm Sherry Hansen. And you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter, and make gorgeous dance sport, country, and skate dresses like this. This super cool dress was made by Sherry, who is one of my So Like a Pro members. You've been in this school for about two years now, and as we have filmed these videos, this is, we met about an hour ago, and as we filmed three or four videos, the quality of your work from the beginning until now, which is the most recent dress, is amazing. I mean, there is no contest in how, how much better everything has sequentially gotten, and that just tickles me pink. It feels good to see that, that improvement too. So. Oh, I'm sure, because <laughs> then it comes faster and, and everything just goes together better. So look, at, we're gonna run through every, all the design details of this dress, but I want you to see this really awesome skirt. It's super fun, and it's been a really long time since I've been in a Latin dress. This is fun. <laughs> I think this would also make a really great ice dance dress. It would have to have a shorter skirt, but overall this, is and the top is beautiful you could put a, a, a smooth skirt or a standard skirt on it it's a really classic type of um interesting bodice so deanna one of the teachers here um you've done a lot of work for her and she always likes to design her dresses so she designed this one you said right yeah it was kind of a thank you for some of the work that i done for her and um, so she came up with the design and yeah. let me make it so as you were doing it, um, what was your favorite part of sewing it? Because this dress, this is actually Sherry's dress. She made it for herself for a competition. What was your most favorite and least favorite aspect? And I'm going to rotate as she's talking. So I am not as bold as Deanna was. And so I was kind of, do I really want to cut out? But um, actually when we came up with this design and uh, were able to actually kind of try it on and I, I got used to it and I actually kind of really like it. It's really fun. It's kind of love peekaboo in the front. Yeah. There's a lot more open in the back, but because it's mesh, I still feel yes. really covered. So that was really important to me. I didn't want all of my yeah. less than toned <laughs> things poking out. <laughs> so there is mesh underneath all of these little leaf teardrop shapes. And the entire back is meshed. And the um, it's got a really wide crinoline, which we talked about in a black ball gown that you made earlier. So go watch that blog where we talk about um, how she installed this bracelets are fabulous and yeah this is I'm so yes. stoked Yay. I'm a proud parent <laughs> I mean because really whenever I started the school I wanted to be able to teach people to you know how how to get better how to get faster how to do it better so that you don't pull your hair out you don't need as much hair color because of all the gray hair because so that in case you do it for income you can do it faster and therefore increase your profit margin you know if you make them for your daughter it's yay <laughs> so tell me a little bit about the back please ma'am um, so initially we just had, I, I wasn't sure what I wanted, so we just had made the red leotard and then we actually used like paper cutouts and stuff to try to figure out what design would look best with me. And initially she kind of wanted these like teardrop things to kind of be mirrored in the back, but we couldn't quite figure out what would look best and didn't really like any of those. So we finally just, well let's just do like one big leap and so that's kind of what we did. And so um, yeah, that was interesting because that was the first time I've really done a cutout like this. and so. Actually, um, I, how did I do that? There was, um, I think, I'm trying to figure out how I remember how I put it together. Anyway, there, um, to get the mesh to be behind the cutout mm -hmm. in a way so that it wouldn't go all crazy when I was sewing it together, um, I think Andy actually basted the mesh um, to the, so I think we had it somehow attached to me, and then we basted the mesh to the red, and then we went and cut out the red after it was sewn together. I don't yes. think that made any sense at all. But um, Well, it did to me, but it might okay. not to anybody else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the programs in the sewing school is to do these little mesh cutouts, and there are several ways that you can go about it, and so what you just described is, is certainly one way, and I've done them both, and it seems to be one half dozen or the other. So I love this dress. The skirt is stitched and flipped on. 
on, so in my mind, this is what is called basic construction because it's a leotard with the skirt attached to it. And basic, whenever you say basic, really just, it's a lot faster to make a leotard with a skirt over it than it is to make a leotard and then an overdress. You have twice as much fitting, twice as many potential problems. So whenever I talk about basic, it clearly does not have to be basic. <laughs> it doesn't have to look basic. It's just a matter of how quickly does it go together. Cutouts do tend to slow things down as far as the work goes, but I am super pleased with this. So yeah, it's a fun dress to wear. I really like it. It is. And so have you actually worn it at a competition? Yes. Okay, good. Good. And you said that there was something on it that you wanted to change on yourself. Um, well, for putting the dress on the skirt, for most of the time it was on the body form. Mm -hmm. um, and then it wasn't until we took pictures at the competition that I realized I didn't like the angle that it hit my leg. Um, so I would almost want to turn it, if, if I could redo this, I probably will because okay. it's bothering me enough, but I'll probably turn it so that's less, because right now it kind of peaks and comes back down, I'd probably turn it a little bit more so that it had a better line across the wider part of my, my yeah. knee. Now, one of the things I tell all the students, and I'm going to tell you now too because it's a crucial lesson here, always take pictures after your fittings. <laughs> <laughs> so lesson learned even when it's for yourself yeah, yeah. take pictures because really when you're just looking at it on your um, you know like if I'm looking in the mirror right now or if I'm working on the dress form you don't really know until you actually see yourself in it so always take and they don't have to be attractive <laughs> just take mug shots so that you can actually see what your body looks like in it are there any closing comments you would like to say about this dress um it was just a lot of fun. I was kind of glad that Deanna pushed me with the design because uh -huh. um, I, oh, yeah. I haven't really worked with mesh cutouts very much, so it was, it was fun. Yeah, yeah. love this. Yeah. I really enjoyed modeling it. You know, and it's funny because one of the reasons we wanted to put a flowy skirt was because my, my Latin rhythm is not my strongest dance, and mm. Deanna wanted me to have more movement on the floor. Yes. So, this was this was what we can and it absolutely does it because this even just barely moving it moves so fringe is another good way to do that but this has so much movement it is really great mm -hmm. for either beginning dances or people who it's just not their strong suit if you do nine or ten dances then it really makes you look like you have way more hip action than what you actually do yeah. All right, then we, I, ha I unfortunately have to go get out of this <laughs> but thank you so much Sherry thank you okay. for being a, being a member of the Sew Like a Pro community and for letting me showcase all of your dresses here today, I am super, super pleased. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, it really has. Thank you. All right, so if you have enjoyed today's video, please go to sewlikeapro.com, leave me your name and email address, and I'll make sure I sign you up for the newsletter. And if you are interested in learning to make dresses like this, like Sherry made, I can and let you know when the next enrollment comes up. Please share this video with all of your dancing, skating, sewing friends because we all work better when we have a community and when we have support and training. And that is it. Oh, leave me a comment. What's your favorite part of the dress? Back. <laughs> cool teardrops, great skirt. All right, that's it. <laughs> Thanks so much to also um, all the folks at Booth Danceport Ballroom in Denver, Colorado, and I will talk to you another time.